Hey guys, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysAtHotWater.com uh, Out here on a very brisk day in Hilton Head Island uh, Heading towards the end of January And uh, I wish the weather would make up its mind uh, One day it's 72 and the next day it's 52 and 42 And uh, so anyway, I will get right to the point um, If you hear a couple sniffles, it's just me trying to shake off this cold And what we got out here today is a really, uh, I'm going to call it a real nice uh, 2004, uh, sorry, 2007 Regal 2400 uh, bow rider. Uh, she's a big 24, so kind of get that going in your mind. And uh, real quick, just so we can see, I pulled the carpet out of the boat. Uh, carpet's in good shape, and uh, you do have some snaps broken, but generally uh, that's the status quo on boats with carpet uh, when you pull them up to clean the boat. And also, I'm not a carpet in the guy, carpet in the boat guy, so. Uh, it's your choice whether you want to ride with it in or out. Overall, real nice vessel. Uh, I cleaned her up the best she could uh, due to weather. I'm not a bright work guy. And also, um, you know, she does sit in dry stack storage. And as you guys know, that diesel dust uh, will do wonders to a boat that's sitting in here. This was probably run uh, sometime between Thanksgiving and Christmas of last year. So she's been sitting. Uh, for a good month and a half, two months, and, and did get a little bit dirty. Uh, the seller did offer to get the bright work done, but I needed to get this listing up. And also, as you guys know, I do everything I can to pick a boat apart, and I feel like if you bright work it up, unless it's a new boat, uh, then you know a few months later you're going to see stuff you didn't see, and I call it as I see it, and you guys know that. Uh, also, everything that you hear out of my mouth, I am not a surveyor, and I am also not a marine mechanic. I have also not had this vessel out on the water. So we're going on uh, my assessment here from what I see, um, as well as previous ownership and service done through Matthews Marine, and um, we'll kind of just take it from there. Okay, overall, good looking boat on the exterior. Uh, like I said, this boat uh, is in good shape. She could definitely use some bright work. I think one trip around with a bright work guy, you'll be good to go. Uh, swim platform as you guys can see some of that diesel dust I couldn't get off um, you are in dry stack storage you are at the mercy of the boats above you if you're not on top so you know you run into that situation uh, the exterior hull as far as the bottom goes I went through we're in pretty good shape you're gonna have a couple little nicks and scratches I see from you know uh, forklifts uh, pulling it on and off but you have no bottom paint and quick note no trim tabs although not really required on this vessel um, so overall pretty good as far as the exterior goes I am on port side you do have some fender rub outs and a couple of things I'm only gonna point out the obvious uh, that's a fender rub out I got two cameras running so kind of bear with me um, I try and get a different look with both cameras if both stay on and overall you can see what I'm seeing you can see the shine uh, you, it will look a little bit uh, less on the sunny side, obviously, so I will show you both perspectives. Uh, but you can see, you know, other than just fender rub, uh, you're pretty good. I'm not showing really any major, uh, you know, nicks or scratches or, or hull repairs or damage. Um, although I did find one spot I do want to note, so hopefully I won't forget that. And as you guys can see, I'm walking through. And I'm going to start moving a little quicker now, now that we've got introduced. Uh, overall, as you can see, same thing on this side. Now, if you guys just take a quick look, I, I just gave her a quick scrub, but you can see that kind of cleans. This is just actually salt. Um, my uh, scrub brush really wasn't working too well. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I needed a softer brush. Fender rubs uh, there. Uh, same type of things here. You know, fender rub there. I did notice, and you guys can see how it gets a little bit lighter. A nice coat of wax will have this thing. Uh, good to go. You wouldn't even need any grit. I do see right here. This looks to be a little bit more of a scratch um, But really nothing major and um, Decals appear to be in good shape. They could be polished and uh, the white uh, As far as as you move forward into the vessel uh, could definitely use a good, you know, a good uh, waxing so uh, as far as we go there overall Volvo Penta 5.7 GI this vessel only has 130 hours on it okay 130 hours you got a duo prop uh, you know your anodes are in fair to good condition and we'll move up on uh, you can see your setup your for your transducer for your Garmin 
Um, you know, everything looks as clean as it's going to be on an 07. Once again, I'm not a mechanic. Uh, overall, you know, you're going to see that diesel dust and a couple of things. I got most of it clean up on the inside, although I feel like the upholstery could use a little better scrubbing than, uh, than this guy's got in his elbow. Now, right here, I do see a repair. I don't quite know what's going on right here. It looks like a forklift probably came in and gave it a little chip, and uh, somebody just MacGyver gel-coated it. I don't really feel like you have a hull or a structural damage issue there. Just a, a poor, uh, quick job of uh, somebody doing I don't even know. That even looks like it might even be scotch tape. Who knows? Uh, but, you know, uh, I'm looking at it, and I looked at it up close. I really don't see any alarm there. And you got a couple of nicks here back on the swim ladder. Uh, as everybody does, they think they can back up a boat, and they forget about the swim ladder. I got my towel up so I can keep the, the vessel clean from my dirty feet. And a real nice swim ladder, plenty of storage. I think there's actually a, a shower up underneath here. Uh, in fact, let's just take a quick look. Yeah, there we go. Should be. Yep. Now, I haven't had the boiler. You know, I don't, uh, I haven't run. Uh, I know the bilge works. I haven't run uh, uh, fresh water pumps and all these things that would be on this vessel. Overall, the goal here is just to give you guys a good visual and a general assessment. Uh, value is real good on this boat and uh, with the low hours uh, you're not doing too bad so other than a couple of nicks and scratches uh, bi you know bimini is in good shape uh, didn't take me long to put that up uh, let's move forward in the vessel as you guys can see I just kinda gave that bottom I just gave it a quick rinse to get that diesel dust off and, um, and a scrubbing actually and uh, I like it like this you may want the carpet in you may not it's really your call uh, maybe on those real hot days, if you guys are going to be sandbarring it and not really riding around a lot, so be it. If you're going to be moving a lot, then, man, I, I just like to get, you know, a fish off the boat even. Uh, I really don't want that carpet in there, so it's really a personal preference. Uh, overall, uh, upholstery is in wonderful condition. Uh, quick note, uh, swim ladder, forward bow, also uh, um, anchor. Upholstery is in real nice condition. Uh, and you guys can see this is just from a quick, quick scrubbing, but you can kind of see some of that diesel dust just sitting in there. It actually just wipes right up. Um, but she could use some work as far as cleaning goes. A little upholstery cleaner will take care of that. Uh, no real stress cracks or anything I'm seeing in the uh, deck of the vessel, so we look real good there. Um, as we move uh, to your dual area, dual console area, uh, your upholstery also as far as the uh, passenger and captain's chair are in excellent shape as well and moving into the rear of the vessel uh, I also do not have anything to report although um, I will note right here starboard side oh, which you can kind of see as you guys see people are kind of coming in and out uh, this has got some white tape on it so uh, clearly this is taking a little bit of beating and, and factually uh, you may do nothing with that because if you actually went and repaired that, I guarantee you uh, somebody's sandals or shoes are going to dig in that as well. And I also did notice back here uh, where you can see these snaps coming in. This will actually snap on fine. Uh, this one, I don't see the snap. Oh, maybe it is. Nope, not there. You got a little bit of Velcro. Uh, but they're pretty heavy seats. They shouldn't really be going anywhere. I'd only be concerned on a trailer uh, with long distance travel hitting bumps and those popping up. Now that we bring it up to a trailer, let's segue over to that. There is no trailer included in the sale of this vessel. It is a dry stack stored vessel. I am more than happy to assist you or point you in the right direction to get a trailer. Drive it home. Transfer, see if you can transfer ownership right here if you're on the island. Dry stack, there's a lot of ways to go, but no trailer included in the sale of this vessel. So overall pretty clean. You got a couple of nicks on that one part there. Uh, I do want to note right here on this helm chair, I just caught it right there you got a little you guys can see that and I'll get up close with the GoPro you got a little little goober there and also uh, a couple little almost looks like just little wear down mark right there and clearly we all know that's probably just from people walking by and bumping in um, just like that so those are your wear and tear points but overall uh, really really nice condition uh, we are running with a Raymarine uh, Ray 48 VHF, uh, Kenwood Stereo, also what appears to be a fairly new <laughs> Echo Map DV. Uh, if we pop right on down here, you guys can see, uh, I don't know if you can see it on both cameras, 130 hours on the vessel. 
blower, bilge, docking lights, cockpit accessories, nav lights, horn, and um, we'll assume most things are in working order, as we all know, on a boat. One day it's working, the next day it's not, but once again, uh, that's up to survey or your inspection. Uh, also, personal items as seen in the vessel will not be included. I'm sure you don't want uh, the seller's towels and, and, and things. Uh, but I assume some safety gear and some things will will get uh, concluded what's uh, conveyed. Uh, I look to see here, we got some covers uh, for the vessel, probably either for the bimini or actually the way that looks, that might be a bow cover right there. Uh, we see that. I did see the table stand and the table in the boat uh, for lunch on the vessel. I also see another uh, piece of carpet, which we will assume also for the vessel or maybe even for the swim deck. Uh, porta potty is there nice and clean uh, smells nice in there and also you have good storage right up in here once again as you guys can see the personal item so overall uh, 2007 Regal 2400 real nice condition could use a detail on uh, a couple of those spots probably could use a little touch up but other than that we seem pretty good but what would tell the tale is obviously a sea trial and um, you know inspections so however you want to move forward uh, hopefully this gives you guys a pretty good walk through the vessel. I think we have a good one here and um, <laughs> But don't hold me to it But overall this is what I see and this is what I want you to see and The goal of these videos is just to save you a trip or entice you to take a trip uh, In most situations, I'm gonna let you guys know this time of year. I am already extremely busy five to seven days out uh, It's only on occasion. I'm able to spot check in other words if you say you're going to be popping in town and you'd like to look at the boat um i i honestly you know trying to meet you may be pretty hard please schedule in advance and um if you want to make an offer on the vessel you're more than welcome to uh, i require a small deposit to present that offer to the seller as not to waste anybody's time and in addition when you do do that uh, they are predicated upon and contingent on your inspections uh and then deposit is refundable and also it guarantees you a uh, an appointment so you know it guarantees I'm gonna show up and you're gonna show up so I hope you guys understand all that uh, she is showing Georgia numbers but she is uh, from what I saw I saw a WAA so she is South Carolina registered in title so anyway Rob out here at I'm always in hot water .com, 2007 Regal oh shoot excuse me I gotta pop back up I almost signed off on you guys what is wrong with me I'm already thinking about my next stop. <laughs> there we go. This is popping down. This needs a little. See that? Hello. It's okay. Happens. Two of my boats do that. 5.7 GI. Real nice shape. All services, uh, as I'm told, are up to date. And um, you guys can see batteries look pretty fresh. Uh, I can't read the dates. If I kind of peek down, I'll try and pull that information off before I go. But as you can see, she is in nice shape. you got a clean bilge area, clean engine area. And the fact of the matter is, let me get that GoPro down there. Let's get on it. Belts look good. You know, once again, I'm not a mechanic, so, you know, what looks good to me may not be good. Overall, real nice, real clean. Uh, this vessel uh, has been a two-owner vessel. Um, it is my understanding and actually the seller of this vessel bought it from his brother uh, His brother had the vessel and uh, uh, Went into uh, a different Mode as far as fishing goes from what I understand and this particular seller uh, Just realized that you know the boat's sitting here in dry stack storage uh, Only getting used to hit the sandbar a couple of times So what they're gonna do is they're gonna move over to the boat club So they'd like to find this boat a nice home There we go. Now you guys have the full story Anyway, Robin, I'm always in hotwater.com, signing off, wishing you guys a great and safe day.